Shall we do some makeup? I have fussed and fussed and fussed with this eyeshadow look based on a photo, which I will post right here. I love gathering inspiration from the internet and then trying to deconstruct, reconstruct, trying to use Saint products as much as possible. And I am gonna do that with you. I also am gonna finish off how I would take this eye look and like, what do you do next? Like when you have this big statement part of your makeup, how do you finish the rest? to make sure that it's not gonna compete with that, but still support it. So that's what we're gonna do. The first thing I've done is I have a blank canvas. I have some of my cream highlight, which is my foundation color on my eyelid as a base. And I'm gonna take a small round brush, and this is the color Philly. And I am pressing this with quite a bit of opacity into the crease of my lid. And then I'm just gonna kinda start to build this and create the shape that I want, kind of softening the edges around a little bit. And it took me a couple of passes to kind of get to that level of opacity. Now my brush is primed, so it's got a lot more pigment in it than when I first started when the brush was clean, so it won't take me near as much work to get it to that level. Packing in quite a bit of shadow and bringing it down. Next color that I'm using is coal. Coal is kind of a charcoal, not quite black color. I'm also using a very short, dense, rounded brush because I'm gonna pack this on all over the lid. I need my lid to be darker, but not black. It's also really important that I'm doing this before I finish my face, just in case I have some fall off. I wanna wreck my makeup on my face taking a little bit of this and just kind of sneaking it, tickling the low lash line. That's coal. This is a color called Snowbird. It is a metallic bronze. Taking a flat brush like this and I am going to create metallic on top. Now, if I didn't have the base on there, this would not be that dark kind of gunmetal color. It would just be much, much lighter if I was to apply this to my lid without the dark underneath. So I need that depth of color. Now I'm getting to the black. This is Salem and it is black and I'm even using a smaller brush. And I'm going to start to really deepen the lash line. Ideally, what I'm trying to do here is to black out. You can see that there's no flesh tone in between any of my lashes. So I'm really kind of just massaging and working this in, in between each lash and kind of going across the lash line. And I am gonna deepen up the outer corner here like that. Just like a little triangle of color that's nice and dark. And sneaking it down here. Now we're gonna get into lining the eyes. The first, is, this is the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow. It's like a crayon, it has a working time. I'm using a brush and I'm gonna do the top water line. I find that a brush that has some bend to it really helps me to get in there with some precision. And again, I'm gonna take this in between my lashes, try to get all that covered and then I'm gonna do some top lining. Again, I'm just blacking out everywhere my lashes. Have a couple different liners here. This is NYX one. It's this light in the middle. Um, and I'm gonna do that here on the inner corner. Nice and bright. This is another one by Makeup Forever. This is number seven, Lagoon. And I'm gonna put Lagoon on this waterline. And a little in between these lashes. So like sort of in the top and on the front. Little both. Okay, I don't want this to stay this color. It's a little bit too teal for me. So I'm gonna take the Saint eyeshadow. And this is the color Rain. And I'm gonna go on top of it. And it's gonna change that. But the good news is, is that this rain, it, it wouldn't stay there by itself because it's not a waterproof product. But on top of the waterproof product, it will stay. So same thing, this is Duke and it's lighter than rain. And I'm just gonna 
set that other liner with this powder. So it's basically like using these crayons, you lay down the foundation of the color and then setting it with powder is gonna make it last all day. Finally, I'm gonna take this color, it's called Aries. It's white, but it kind of is more like sparkly. And I'm just gonna put some of that in the inner corner just to kind of give it this like sort of glittery, icy effect. Very simple. All right, I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm using <laughs> the Lash Clash by um, YSL. I'm gonna do the black on my top and the blue on the bottom. I'll show you the blue. It's incredible. It's like electric blue. Gonna stick a little lash down on here. It would be unfair for me to even tell you what this lash is because this is some lash that I have like modified on my own. I've trimmed it, it was a full size lash from Sephora. I ran my bead of glue along the middle, on the underside. The whole game, guys, is just sit it down in the center. Just tack it down at the center, then let go, and then tack down your sides. This is like a demi-lash. It's not gonna go all the way across. I find that those are very comfortable to wear. So it's A-OK -okay if you buy a lash and you wanna like trim it or modify it into a shape that suits you a little bit more and that you find more comfortable. This is Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. It's got like a spoolie on one end and like an angled job on the other. I do have my Anastasia Brow Wax in there. I started with that whenever I put my like regular foundation on. They make one that's a little thinner like the Micro Pencil. The problem I have with that is that you get so little product for the money. So literally when I was buying this, I looked at the ounces. I looked at the total weight, like in grams. And I'm like, all right, I get a lot more for the same amount of money than I do for the micro pencil. So I feel like with my skill level, I can just make it work. But it is kind of like having big thumbs. No, I mean, <laughs> that was a really extreme close up. I didn't realize how close I was. I just made one subtle change. Can you see? Gold digger. I took a tiny, I just felt like I needed a little something on top. So I took a little tiny bit of gold digger and I'm putting it right in the middle. Like right in the middle. Much better. It just gives the upper lid that three-dimensional highlight. It's badass. Okay, um, now we have to finish the rest of the face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some bronzer because I'm feeling a little washed out, which is fine. So bronzer for me is I actually use Fiji, which is a cream highlight. I'm using my finger here, putting it just around. I'm actually gonna stick some bronzer in the contour area. I'm not gonna use a separate product today, um, only because I really just want the warmth. Now for blush, I'm gonna use Tango. You guys, this color right here, it's a shade of the season, we just released it. I've used it every day. Like it is magical. I love that it has a little sheen to it. It's such a pretty color looks great on lips and cheeks because it's got that little bit of hydration to it. And I just don't think there's a skin tone out there that can't wear it. It's perfect. A little on my lips. This is Iconic Nude. It's a little less peachy. Uh, and I think it'll give a good balance between the bronzer and the peach pink of the Tango. So, kind of filling in a bit more in the corners here. Add that depth. And then we'll put some gloss on. Of course, we're gonna use City Lips. Of course we are. Of course we are. So these are my top three from City Lips. This is clear. This one is Tinseltown. Super pink, it's light. And then this is the one that was just limited edition. This is the Sparkling Cider, which I think would go lovely with the eye look. I think this one is the ideal choice, although the Tinseltown would look great too. Bring out a lot of the pink. But I love that brown 
Sparkle. Oh yeah, this is great. You can't really go wrong. I'm loving it. Okay, finishing touches. This is Georgia Illuminator. Ooh, I went a little heavy there, didn't I? The other thing you guys gotta be careful of is if you're gonna use a powder, this uh, lip and cheek is a little glossy, so it's gonna really grab it. So you can, it's fine, it's not a big deal. You just take your finger and kind of, you know, soften it out. You can even take your um, blush brush and soften it that way. Never an issue we can't like solve here. So it's just a matter of they're just different textures. One is powder, one is cream, and so you just have to be careful. And the more you work with cream, you know, the more comfortable you get. So speaking of which, if you are looking for a color match, I'll put the link on the screen to work with me directly. I can look at your face and recommend colors for you. As always, you have to set your makeup with cream-based makeup. I love the Saint Setting Spray, but today I actually used the Caudalie de Beauté Beauty Elixir Smoothing Glowing Complexion. This is more of like a toner facial mist. I love the smell of this. It will give you a very dewy, hydrated finish. Because of that, I'm gonna take some of the vanilla dust uh, and just a fluffy brush and I'm gonna kind of adios a little bit of the shine but only in the areas that I don't want it and when you're over 40 as I am um, 45 you have to really be careful on how much powder you use you really can just like just dust it on wherever you need it but don't overdo it because all powders will settle into fine lines and wrinkles so less is more